Rock pocket mice and kangaroo rats live in the harsh desert climate of the American Southwest. Amazingly, information stored in a molecule so simple that many scientists doubted it could play an important role in heredity holds the secret to genetic variation, which allows these animals to adapt and thrive in their challenging environment. What molecules store, retrieve, transmit, and respond to information essential for life? And how do they do it? Hi everyone, I'm Noel Poller, AP Biology teacher and creator of the Lab Hamster Storylines. You probably figured out that this video will be exploring nucleic acid, DNA, and RNA. You'll learn key concepts related to the structure and function of these molecules that play such critical roles in the process of evolution and maintaining life on our planet. So let's get started. DNA and RNA are examples of nucleic acids. They're polymers made from monomers, or building blocks, called nucleotides. Information is encoded in DNA and RNA by the sequences of their nucleotide monomers. But we should really start by talking more about the structure of these molecules. Nucleotides, the monomers that make up both DNA and RNA, all share three structural components. They have a five-carbon sugar, a phosphate group, and a nitrogen base. The name DNA is short for deoxyribonucleic acid. The first part of the name identifies the five carbon sugar found in DNA, deoxyribose. This sugar is often called a pentose sugar because of its pentagon ring structure. The next component of DNA we should talk about are phosphate groups, a phosphorus atom bonded to four oxygen atoms producing a charged ion. The presence of the negatively charged phosphate groups is one important reason that nucleic acids are soluble in water and becomes very important in Unit 6 when we will cover techniques like gel electrophoresis we use to analyze DNA samples. Nucleotides also have one nitrogen base, adenine, thymine, guanine, or cytosine, but we usually just say A, T, G, or C. The written language of molecular biology is actually the order of these nitrogen bases in DNA molecules. The backbone, or the sides of a DNA double helix include alternating deoxyribose sugar and phosphate groups. RNA is short for ribonucleic acid, with ribo being short for ribose, the pentose sugar that is chemically very similar to the deoxyribose found in DNA. Other ways that RNA differs from DNA is that it includes the nucleotides A, G, and C, just like DNA, but has uracil or U instead of the thymine that DNA has. RNA molecules are single-strand molecules, whereas DNA molecules have two strands, hence the term double helix. So what role do DNA and RNA play in the evolution of species? Rock pocket mice have a sequence of DNA nucleotides that make up a gene called MC1R. This gene stores instructions for building a protein called melanocortin-1 receptor. This protein plays an important role in determining the type of pigment molecules that will determine the animal's fur color. To build the protein, the DNA code stored in the cell nucleus is used to assemble an RNA copy of the code. This RNA copy of the MC1R instructions leaves the nucleus and travels to ribosomes where the MC1R protein is assembled. Mutations in the MC1R gene can lead to the production of varying fur colors. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you'd like to learn more about the role of MC1R protein in determining the fur color of rock pocket mice, you should check out this video right here.